Hello friends, welcome back. I am sitting up here in my garden, listening to traffic. <laughs> I thought, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and bring you guys up and show you how the garden's doing so far this year. We didn't do a planting vlog, so I just wanted to give you a quick tour. So let's go ahead and get started. When you first walk in and you look to the right, well, you'll see where I was just sitting. My husband has built me with PVC pipe a cover to protect my raspberries and strawberries from the birds. And it has netting over it, if you can see it. So the raspberries are black raspberries, red marionberry, and yellow raspberries. And underneath we have lots of strawberries. So they're already doing better um, because I just moved those this year. On the outside here, temporarily, I have two boysenberry plants and two Hubbard squash. So in this planter, um, well, if you know me, you know that I like cottage gardening, um, companion planting. So I have a lot of alyssum and other flowers, beneficial flowers in the garden. This is spinach and it is ready to be pulled. Uh, we've eaten quite a bit of it and given some away. Over here I've got beets and green beans growing up the arbor. I have green beans growing up all of the arbors. Here we've got some flat leaf parsley and some marigolds. Uh, and this is all celery. On this side, we've got more parsley, some kale, and then more parsley on the other side of it, some more marigolds, and there's cucumber plants planted all along this um, grid work here. So right here, you can see I've got some ribbon. This, this mesh, it overlaps, so I can get in, I can just pull it back and tie it to get into my berries. Red geraniums growing all around the edges, hanging in hanging baskets all around the garden, and I love that. This is my little um, place where I pull stuff and just throw it in. This will go into the compost later. This is a cornelian cherry. Then I have random plants. These are some peonies. And here I have a pear espalier, and it will look really nice once it's filled out. Down here in these little pots, I have acorn squash and nasturtium. And over here, I have another espalier. It is an apple, so it has three different kinds of apples growing on it. Right here in front of me, I have yellow raspberries there is a rosemary plant right next to it. This is a red currant. And then this big one on the back here is a Josta berry. So over here I have a, a patch of Brussels sprouts. A lavender plant, I'm not sure where I'm gonna plant that yet, so it's still in the pot. Some green beans on the arbor. I have peas growing up this area and onions and dahlias and more green beans on the end so right here i have a garbage can with a lid it is for making compost tea Use some packages um, and then add it in here and then fill it with water or i may use fish fertilizer or chicken manure um, it's empty right now but I mean, it has a little bit of water in the bottom, but generally I'd like to keep it in the shade. Um, this is asparagus and sweet peas and other climbing flowers. This is for herbs and lettuce. It's got strawberries in it as well. Ha this is the perfect place for growing these. These are basil, little basil starts and my leaf lettuce. 
This is the back door to the garden, which leads up to the chicken coop. So I can take all their scraps straight up to them. Here's another one of these. They look like a bookshelf. My husband built me these. Um, they're perfect for growing all of my herbs in, and the herbs love it. So I've got a variety here. I have another container here with asparagus and climbing plants, flowers. This is a peach tree. And you can see that it's got, got some peaches started. This is my cabbage patch and it is doing amazing. On the end here, I've got a few peas and green beans. So next to the peach tree, I have a goji berry plant and a cherry tree. Next to the cherry tree, I have an elderberry plant and then a Bing cherry and then another elderberry plant. Right here at the end of this planter, I have three pots with tomatoes and this is a Mount Ash Rabina which grows edible berries on it. Down here past this elderberry, I have another container with peas and nasturtium and some mint here on the end. You can see that. This is my potato patch. It was as tall as me yesterday and then we had a huge downpour twice with thunderstorms and it's all laid over. So I'm hoping that it perks back up. This is my squash patch and green beans on the end. So this is another type of bean and I can't quite remember what kind it is. I'm sure I've got the tag down here somewhere, but uh, some nasturtium. I love just coming up to the garden and picking nasturtium leaves and eating them. They are so good. They taste like, like a spicy radish and they're really good in salads and so are the flowers. So here's another angle of my cabbage patch. So in here in the center, I have tomato plants with marigolds. This this is the same on this side, tomato plants with marigolds. And here in the center of this, I have two honeyberry bushes, a grape vine, a huckleberry bush, and a pink blueberry bush, and some more. My husband planted a couple of acorn squash in this planter here. Um, and then I've got some more geraniums on the end just for pretties. So like I said, this is my squash. I've got about four different kinds of squash growing in here. And my potatoes, like I said, here on the edge of the garden, I have peppers, a lot of different peppers. Here's an apple mint. My husband just moved it there for some reason. I've got peas over here and peppers and lots of alyssum growing in between. In here I've got arugula. You can see it's flowering. I need to pull it. I actually have a good sized pepper started. So on the other side of my peas, on this side, I also have more peas <laughs> and some tomatilla plants and they are doing amazing. I have a few more tomato plants over here. Some carrots that I need to thin desperately. And my lettuce. And we've eaten quite a bit of this lettuce and given quite a bit away. So that concludes my tour of the garden. It is really warm out here today compared to yesterday. It's just night and day different. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. I hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.